in this lecture we will go through the highest point on summit curve how we can determine the highest point on determine we will go through in this video lecture by theoretical as well as example solution highest point on vertical curve that is the summit curve there are two types of summit curve that is a symmetrical curve that is in symmetrical curve the highest point lies on the angle bisector that is if this is this one the ascending gradient of plus one percentage then a descending gradient of same gradient but in negative that is the symmetrical curve this is the point of vertical point of intersection and n is the deviation angle and this is the symmetrical vertical curve in this symmetrical vertical curve the highest point on the curve lies on a line bisector that is the angle of intersection bisector the line intersect the curve at the point and the point is the highest point on that summit curve similar for the asymmetrical curve that is if the grade of the two ascending and descending gradient is not equal then it is a asymmetrical summit curve in that case the highest point on summit curve lies toward the flatter slope that this is the n1 ascending gradient then second is uh, n2 descending gradient since the n1 is not equals to n2 there here is the asymmetrical summit curve is introduced now in in this case the highest point on the summit curve lies on a flatter slope we don't know at what distance from the beginning of vertical curve lies the highest point on the summit curve and we are going to derive the distance from which the highest point lies on the curve let q be the distance from the beginning of curve at which the respective point on the curve lies or is the highest point on the vertical curve in summit curve we use generally parabolic curve then y equals to ax square then tends to y y equals to from the tangent of uh, beginning tangent that is the y is e h equals to a x square here where a is a constant and x is the distance from the beginning of particle point then e q then total e q is n1 into x distance therefore h q is the difference between eq and eh and is given by n1 x minus a x2 sorry a x square then y dash y dash equals to h q equals to n1 x minus and putting the value of a that is the constant a equals to n by twice l you get the relation y dash equals to n1 x minus n by twice l into x square now this h will be the highest point when a y dash is maximum then for maxima we get first derivatives must be zero then when solving this equation we get x equals to n1 l by n or x equal to n y r in this way we can determine the distance distance from the point of vertical sorry from the beginning of vertical point at which the highest point on the vertical curve lies let's go through an example a plus 2 percentage gradient meets a 0 0.25 gradient at a drainage of 1085 meter and at a reduced level of 76.55 meter if the side distance be 304.8 meter determine levels of tangent point and the highest point on the curve 
assume that the eye level of the driver is 1.143 meter and the highest of the obstruction is 0.1 meter now this is the schematic diagram of the summit curve a solution first given that side distance s equals to 304.8 meter then division angle n1 minus a2 is calculated as 0 0.0225 now first design of particle summit curve for considering the stopping side distance is less than length of curve we use the relation l equals to n square by root under twice s plus root under twice s whole power square and is calculated as 544.6 meter that is the our assumption l is greater than s is okay that is 546.6 meter is greater than 304.8 meters therefore the length of the particle summit curve is taken as 544.6 meter therefore tangent length t is half of the length of the summit curve that is calculated as 272.3 meter now the elevation of different points that is the elevation calculation now first the elevation of beginning of particle curve is taken as elevation of particle intersection point minus n1 into tangent length and is calculated as 71.104 meter similarly the elevation of end of particle point that is the change of sorry the elevation of point of particle intersection minus the particle drop at a distance from a tangent that is the calculated as that is calculated as 75.869 meter the third one is elevation of the highest point the distance of highest point from beginning of particle curve is calculated from n1 into l by n and is calculated as 484.09 meter that is the highest point on the curve suppose in the figure h is the highest point the highest point is lies on a distance of x that is a 484.09 meter from the beginning of particle curve therefore distance of highest point from this end of particle curve can be calculated as 60.51 meter similar in another in another way we can calculate a distance from the end of a particle curve since the flatter slope is n2 that is the 0 0.25 percentage therefore the highest point lies along a flatter slope that is the tangent ten, tangent point t2 that is the end of particle curve therefore the distance from the end of particle curve to the highest point can be determined directly from from the relation that is the x equal to n2 into l by n since the n2 is the flatter slope then we can directly calculate the distance from the end of particle curve is calculated as 60.51 that is similar from this previous method that is the particle point on that is the highest point on the particle curve lies at a distance of 60.51 meter from the end of particle curve now the highest point elevation of highest point h is calculated from the relation that is the rl of f that is the rl of f on the tangent minus tangent correction that is g sorry sorry f h is the tangent correction therefore the rl of f is calculated as rl of end of particle curve plus n2 into x that is the highest point on the curve distance from the end of particle curve that is a 60.51 then a tangent correction equals to n by 2 l x square therefore the elevation of highest point on the summit curve is calculated as 75.944 meter Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel for more lecture, tutorial, solution. Thank you.